they were using. This is the worst haircut. Hello there. How are you feeling tonight? Mm -hmm. I think it's the first time we see each other. I'm Nurse Joni, Head of Nurses. Okay, let's see your shirt here. Well, I see that you have been with us for quite a while now. Mm, very good. So tell me, how are you feeling right now? Mm, okay, I see. Oh, we're gonna start by checking your vitals. I know, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a long night. You're gonna have a bunch of nurses coming into your room for examination, so be prepared to be checked up quite a lot during this night. So how's your breathing? Feeling a little bit better with that? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to slide your arm here. Let's check this out. Yeah, just like that, please. In a very comfortable position, like that. Okay, now it's done. Sorry, it's a little bit tight. Oh, please bear with me. You know, we need to do it like this. Okay. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Sorry, yeah, it has to be like that. Now, I'm gonna be putting this in your wrist. Like so. And leave it there for a bit. Have you been sleeping? Mm, okay. How about food? Have you been unable e to eat? Mm. How did it taste? I had a new cook in the kitchen. It's quite great. Yep. I love the cooking they do. I know that you have to eat some food, but still, it's good. Okay. You're fine. Excellent. Let's check that heart. Okay, good. Very good. Sounds good. Okay, now into your back. It's gonna be a little bit cold. Please bear with me. Good. Okay, I need you to cough. Once again, please. Now, deep breath in. And out. Breath in. And out. Good. Now in your chest, we're going to breathe in and out, in and out. Okay, thank you. Everything seems fine there. 
I turn the light here. Okay, I'm gonna check overall how you're looking. Mm, you're a bit pale, isn't it? Yeah. Have you been feeling to see? A bit. Does the light um, bother you in some way? Just a bit. Okay, that's important. Everything that I ask is important, so please let me know. How about sound? Are you feeling any discomfort when you're hearing sounds around the area? Not quite. Have you been having any headaches? Very well. When you have been able to sleep, have you been waking up during the moments of sleep? Do you remember any nightmares? Sweats? Okay. When you ate your food, did it taste good by meaning that the flavor was according to what you were eating? Let me see what you had today. You had chicken soup, jello, and some orange juice. Okay. Did the chicken soup taste like chicken? Did it have any other taste for you? You can consider it did taste as chicken. Good. How about the orange juice? Did it taste exactly as orange juice as you know orange juice taste? Okay. How about the jello was strawberry flavor? Did it taste like that? Very good. Have you been standing up through the night, during the day? Just going to the facilities bedroom? Okay. When you stood up, did you feel any dizziness? Uh, wobbly feet and anything like that? Okay. Now I'm gonna ask you a few questions. To see your state of mind, your consciousness, okay? Do you know what day of the week is today? How about the date? What is the year? Good. Do you know who is our current president? Okay. Can you tell me your full name? Very good. Do you know why you are here today? Okay. Very good, thank you. This question is hard to know that your brain is working properly, your memory and everything. Now let's check those eyes. Okay, we're gonna look straight forward. Okay, looking straight forward to me. Good. Good. Does it bother you? Okay. Again. Good. 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 Now, I'm gonna be a little bit closer to you. Excellent. Very good. Now, looking straight forward. Follow the light with your eyes only. Don't move your neck or your head. Good. Very good, thank you. Let's do a little checkup on those ears. Oh, 
Okay, we still have the problem of airwax overproduction. That was expected. Let's see here. The same on this here. Okay. Now the doctor, Dr. Whisper, is going to be visiting you tomorrow. She is going to perform an ear cleaning on you. It's scheduled for the evening tomorrow. I'm going to put here that the airwax production is still the same. Yeah, uh, it was going to be done today, but they had an issue with the scheduling with the doctor, so they had to move it for today. Is it bothering you, your ears? Not really? Okay. So, let's check your reflexes. I'm going to be in that position. Okay. Here we go. Um, good. Once again. Good. Again. Good. There we go. Good and good. Now, I'm going to raise your eyeballs like this. Okay, in that position. We're going to stay like that. Ready? Good. Does it hurt when I do this? Okay, good. Once again, we're going to do this here. Good. Once again. Excellent. Very good. Now we are also scheduled for a treatment. Uh, let me see. Hmm. So you are also scheduled for another treatment. That is going to be performed by Dr. Whispers tomorrow. Uh, today and the rest of the night, we are going to be checking you through the night several times. Uh, different nurses are going to be coming to your door and be bothering you with some examination and test. Uh, it's going to be a difficult night. I know we're going to be... Uh, talking you quite a lot in the sense that you might not be able to sleep thoroughly probably if you have a light sleep but please bear in mind that this is for your own good we are trying to find out the root of your problem and with all this examination and tests uh, Dr. Whispers is going to be able to uh, give you a full treatment needed Okay, a nurse Joni is going to be the next coming in for you. You might also be moved out of rooms for examination, so you could expect that. Don't worry, uh, it's going to be comfortable for you. Quite relaxing too, I must say. All you have to do is answer the questions if the nurses ask you. They already have their orders for this. Now I just need to ask you a couple of more questions. Okay. You're going to be in a fast tomorrow. So your last meal will be in a few hours. You are able to eat solids for this time being. Is there anything that you're craving maybe that we can provide for you you're gonna have a fast of 18 hours so it needs to be something substantial like something that is gonna fill you up without damaging um the only thing that we cannot give you is things like ham bologna uh, maybe uh, hot dogs stuff like that that is out of the question we cannot give you that but anything else okay 
you can give me the three options and we can see what can we work for you. Mm -hmm. and how about to drink? Remember, no soft drinks, sugary drinks like tea and stuff like that. Natural stuff will be fine. Chamomile tea, that's an excellent choice. How about dessert? Uh, yeah, it has to be made here. We cannot give you Twinkies or anything like that. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can definitely work that out. Excellent. So I think that's what I needed from you. Okay. So, that's it for me today. I'm um, going to come back again tomorrow. But through the night, my other nurses are going to be asking you a few questions. So please answer accordingly. What you're feeling at the moment is very important. So we can tell uh, Dr. Whispers and she can help you further with that. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, about that, uh, you're gonna have a bath here in your bed. One of the nurses is coming and she's gonna help you with that. Quite relaxing, I must say. And after that, you're gonna have two examinations more. We have to wait a few hours between the examinations so we can check how your body is reacting to the medications that we are giving you. And from there, we can uh, also give the information to Dr. Whispers. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, of course. I know it has been difficult and you might be a little bit tired, thin, lay down, but try to get this moment to relax and then you can fall asleep and wait for your food. And that I'm gonna bring this directly into the kitchen because it's a special order. Well, the fast is not that hard to be honest with the food that we are going to give you is full of nutrients and you're going to be feeling filled up most of the time so you're not going to feel any hunger or anything. We're going to bring you tea, water and that helps you when you're doing a fast. That's quite nice to be honest. And also, it's very helpful for the body too. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about that. No, for some people it can be scary when they tell them and we tell them that they're gonna have to fast for 16, 18, or 24 hours. That oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so hungry and angry and everything. But now when we give our bodies the correct uh, kind of foods and nutrients, the body works perfectly. Takes our nutrients from the storage that we have through our body. And everything's fine, so don't worry. Okay. Anything else that I can do? Okay. So please expect the other nurses to come through the night, and uh, just make sure to answer the questions correctly. Okay. Very well. Now please rest and have a good night. Kiss me.
your injuries in your body. It looks mostly in your face. Did you fall? Are you on a bike? Trying to look around for it, but didn't find it. But it's pitch black right now. Good thing that I have my car lamp.
This one looks really bad. Your eyelid. Oh, I wish I had something to glue it on. But I don't have anything. But the important thing is that it's cleaning up. And I can remove the pebbles. I got encrusted into your eyelid. actually great. You're a great patient.
Thank you so much for helping me today. Yeah, I need to do my head to toe assessment um, practice and I get kind of nervous with my real patients sometimes. And well, I don't want to mess it up in the hospital. So thank you so much for letting me practice with you today. Well, I have here my list of mostly checklist of what I have to do today in my head to toe so I'm gonna introduce myself as your nurse and then I'm gonna go ahead with my medical exam so if you notice that I'm getting a little bit nervous or anything just let me know so I can reset is that okay? very well let me just then come back and present myself as your nurse yeah okay. okay here we go hello I'm your nurse for today I'm Joni nice to meet you so today we're gonna be doing your annual head-to-toe assessment yeah very good so, we're going to start with a few questions. I'm going to be typing your answers here in my computer. So, first of all, can I have your first and last name, please? Okay, good. Now, can you tell me what date is today? Uh, what month and year okay can you tell me your date of birth okay good thank you let me just type up this information here is this your first head to toe assessment here with us Okay, so you have never gotten one here before, right? How are you feeling today? Well, not just physically, emotionally. How do you feel? Do you feel calm? Do you feel anxious? Sad? Angry? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you briefly tell me what do you do today before coming here? Mm -hmm. Very good. And what else were you doing today? Excellent, thank you. Now, again, briefly, can you tell me what line of work uh, you do? Do you manage uh, a lot of stress in your work? Mm. Sometimes uh, anxiety too. Okay, thank you. Now we are going to be moving to your scalp examination. Are you wearing any hair gel, 
her products that are curl something like that no hair products okay when was the last time that you wash your hair very good have you ever had any issues with infestation in your scalp in your hair such as flies um, bugs dandruff okay so I'm gonna be doing a very thorough scalp examination this might tingle a little bit if you're squirmish so let's see here I'm gonna start first right here in your forehead area Now I'm going to be pressing a little bit more to the back. I need to feel if there are any head bumps, lumps, dentations. Okay, I feel a little dentation here. Did you suffer an accident? Okay, when you were a child. Good. Any concussions in the past year? No? Okay. Okay, everything feels good. No visible bumps. I don't feel anything out of the ordinary here. be inspecting your scalp very thoroughly. I'm gonna be using a magnifying glass. I want to check that there are no signs of problems in your hair, in the roots too. Okay. So always I'm gonna start here in your forehead area. Gonna be messing your hair a little bit, okay? Now, let me take a closer look again. And this area in particular. This might tickle a little bit. I'm going to be parting your hair several sections to take a look in it. Okay, good. Now I'm going to be moving to the back too. Closely inspecting, can you lower your head a little bit to the front? Thank you.
dump this, this, this. Your scalp is very nice and clean. No signs of any fixation in there, so everything looks good in there. It was quite tingly. A little relaxing to you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll try to be as gentle as I can with my scalp examination. So now we are going to be moving to your eyes. For this part, I'm going to be very, very close to you. Is that okay? Because I'm going to be right here in your personal space. Okay. Very good. So, I need to look straight forward to me. Now try not to blink while I'm doing this. Very good. Okay. And here we go. We are going to inspect your eyes nice and thoroughly. Just to check how your pupils are reacting to the light. How your eyes are also reacting to the change of light. The curvature of your eye too. Good. Okay. Let's change this. I continue doing the same here. Now I see a little redness in this area. Did you sip well last night? Okay. Okay, it could be due to that. Do you have any allergies? Okay, good. Let's check the other eye too. Now this eye also looks good. Good coloration. Mm -hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Excellent. Okay. Gonna straight forward again. Good. Can you close your eyes? Okay, I'm gonna be feeling your eyes here. Might be a little bit uncomfortable for a bit. Okay, feels good. Now, this light is brighter than the other one. Looking straight forward. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, that's a good reaction. Now can you cover one eye for me? Looking straight forward again. Good. Good. Now the same on the other eye. Cover it up. And good. Good. Very good. Now looking straight forward, you're going to be focusing right here in the middle, in my nose. You're not going to be moving your head or your neck, nor your shoulders, okay? I want you to follow the light just with your eyes. You ready? Good. Good. You're doing great. Excellent. Okay. Now you're going to be letting me know the moment that you see my fingers. You're not going to be moving your eyes, nor your head, nor shoulders, or neck. Looking straight forward. Let me know the moment that you can perceive my finger. Okay. Good. Again. Good. Once again. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Let's rest your eyes for a little bit. The light seats quite a bit harsh. It can be uncomfortable. So everything seems good with your eyes. No problem there. Now we 
you're going to be inspecting your face, the skin. Okay. Again, very close to you. You ready? Okay. We're taking a look for moles, beauty marks, freckles that might be a little bit off that shouldn't be there or that have a weird shape that is something that we always take into consideration here do you expose yourself too much to the sun? okay do you use sun protection on a daily basis? Okay, good. Now I do feel a little bit of dryness, dry patches in both your cheek area. So you might want to take a look into that way the dermatologist can help you with it. It's nothing that serious, but just so you notice that, okay? Good. I'm going to inspect this freckles right here, okay? Okay, good. Sorry, the light is too bright. That looks great. Okay. Good. I'm sorry, the light's too bright on now. Okay, I was a little bit worried with the freckle, but no. It's normal. They're much shape. Now let's check your nose. I want you to look up like this and stay in that position. Okay. Now I'm gonna be moving your nose a little bit, okay? There we go. There we go. Good. Looks very nice. Very nice. Feel the elasticity in your skin. Now I want you to give me a big smile. Very, very big and beautiful. Okay, checking your facial nerves. Now give me a big, big smile again. Open your mouth as wide as you can. Very, very big. Now Close and relax. Good. Now raise your eyebrows as high as you can. Good. Now get very, very angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. So we have a Twenty one. Okay, good. Now we're going to be checking your mouth. You're going to get the lollipop. Okay. Open wide. Good. Okay, good. Your throat looks fine. Excellent. I'm gonna be touching your neck area right here and on the back too, okay? Might tickle a little bit. Okay, 
tickle square a bit, isn't it? Feels good. Very, very good. Nothing weird in this area. Very nice. Thank you. I'm gonna let you relax a little bit while I take notes. Ears. I'm going to start first with a little hearing test. I'm going to be using this tuning fork. Now I need you to close your eyes and let me know the moment that you can perceive the sound near your ear and let me know in which ear you can hear it, okay? be whispering a couple of words into each ear. I want you to repeat them for me. Okay. Here we go. Red. Blue. House. Red. Blue. Good. Once again, the other ear. I just see here in your medical history that you're having, having quite a lot of problems with your ears in the past. I see several visits and ear cleaning sessions with you. So I'm going to take a closer deep look into your, ear, your ears and see how it has improved during this last year. Okay? Uh, I believe that you already know the drill with this since it has been done with you many many times so just to remind you stay perfectly still don't move if you need to cough or you feel the need that you're gonna sneeze let me know beforehand so i can extract the tools that i'm gonna be placing inside your ears i'm gonna be using this one an otoscope to check inside your ears which has a little light let me shake right in there okay very good. I want to be very quiet during this examination for your security and my concentration, okay? Okay, are you ready? Very good.
fell asleep. Don't worry, it's okay. Let's see. Well, um, I did find a few problems with your wax production. Nothing too serious. I was able to just move my way around it and remove quite a bit while I was in there. Nothing too serious. There were no signs of infections or infestation. So I would say that you pass with a with a nice B plus. But it's okay. So I'm gonna be putting that in your medical history. And we are gonna be moving to your chest area. Let's hear that heart. Okay, let me just warm her up a little bit for you. And here we go. Okay. Hmm. Let's hear that heart now. Okay, good. Very well, thank you. So everything sounds nice in there. Nothing to worry about. Now I'm gonna be needing you to stand up for me. I'm gonna make you do a couple of exercises. Now you're gonna be standing in just one leg. Let's see how your balance is going on today. Now, the other feet. Good. Very good. Now, both feet. Uh, you're going to cover your eyes. And like with the trunk uh, exercise, you're going to be touching your nose with your fingers. Okay. Good. Good. Now the other hand. Excellent. So I'm going to need you to walk up for me. Just step back a few steps. And then walk. Stop. Good. That oh, looks good. Excellent. You can take a seat. So, <laughs> I think we are done today. It was a, a, a little bit hard to keep my face straight with you. <laughs> I wanted to joke a little bit. I tend to do that a lot with my patients, but I was told that I shouldn't be joking with them. I have to be professional and yada yada, you know. But, mm, how did I do it? Do you feel comfortable? I did took my time with your ears because you do have quite a lot of your wax in there, so I cleaned it up nice for you. So you think I did good? Yeah, I feel more confident now, so thank you so much for helping me with that. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Do you want to get something to eat? Hmm? Okay, let's go. Let me just take this off. Let's go.
signs of strap but not quite right now it has a little bit of tenderness swollen but uh, this shirt it says that it was pretty red and that you had trouble passing liquids okay um, right now a lot of times with my 
right tool right here for that and we will be able to take it out with no troubles but uh, the clock years that you're uh, suffering right now that sensation like when you're traveling through the mountains it feels like uh, it's going all the way inside like a muted sound yes that's how you're feeling mm -hmm. and you feel a pressure right in that area right here okay I'm gonna help you with that since you also have a stuffy nose and the sinus is pretty clogged it's part of it when you're trying to do this when you're trying to breathe you're clogging the, um, the liquid canals more so we're gonna try to reduce that um, with a massage in your sinus area in this area I'm gonna be pulling like this okay what this will do is help the area be more easy to breathe and less unclogged now right here you should be feeling a pressure isn't it okay so I'm gonna try to be very gentle during the massage of your sinus area but let me know if I'm being too harsh, okay? So I'm gonna be present with both my thumbs right here, okay? Going all the way to the back like this. Is that okay? okay. So with this, we are putting pressure in the area. should be feeling a relief sensation here yeah okay so I'm pressing and pressing uh, okay what's next oh one moment this is gonna allow you to breathe better I'm gonna put a few drops in your nostrils okay Okay, 
yeah, it went up one degree. Definitely is in the rise. Uh, my pen. If it goes up another degree, I'm gonna have to call the doctor immediately. I am not allowed to treat anything further than your um, uh, ear clock.
easier to touch. It's not that hard now. Will be much much easier to remove. Let's check this one out. Also looks pretty good.
sure that it's not rising again. Okay. Good. Next kid, please. Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? Can I see your note? Oh, thank you. Okay. Take a seat, please. Oh, you have been complaining about your eyes? Okay, sweetie. Hmm. The light is being okay. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Your eyes hurt? Okay, first of all, let me take a peek into your medical history before we do anything. Okay, have your full name here. Okay, very good. Take a seat, sweetie. Don't worry, don't worry. Just, just sit. Hmm. Oh, I can. I already know what can it be. Okay, sweetie, don't touch your face, don't touch your eyes, okay? Very good. Just wait a second. I'm gonna take a peek in the computer to check you for your medical history. We need to know if you're allergic to something before we even touch you. Okay, I have you here. Hmm, okay, very good. Okay, uh, when did you start having this problem that it was um, itchy your eyes and the light was annoying to you? Hmm, second period. Okay, so not long ago. 
you've been scratching. Okay, sweetie. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you with that in a moment. Okay, can I see your hands first? Okay, sweetheart. I'm gonna need you to wash your hands very, very good. We have the cup here and soap, please. Okay, while well, you do that, I'm gonna keep typing on the computer your symptoms, okay? Just wash your hands very, very good. And then come back to me, okay? Yeah, right there. With a lot of soap, please. Good, like that. Okay, very good. The reason that I ask you to wash your hands is because sometimes our hands are filled with bacteria and germs and right now you're having an issue with your eyes and if you're touching your face with dirty hands it's gonna make the problem even worse, okay? Very good. So, I'm gonna examine your eyes. Oh, you're squinting a lot. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna go to the other room that is darker and it's not gonna be too much light for you. Okay? Okay, let's go. Follow me. Okay, sweetie, is it better? Much better. Very good. So, we're gonna start to inspect your eyes. We're gonna do an examination. Uh, right now, what do you feel exactly? Okay, itchiness. You feel like you're crying. Okay. Does it hurt? Mm, not that much, but it's bothering you. Okay. Also, the light is bothering you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel a burning sensation in your eyes? Like it's really, really hot or there's something spicy in your eyes? Not quite. Okay. So let me just put this on your head to put it back so it doesn't get in the way while we do the examination. It's very important to keep your hair from your eyes. Is it too tight? Yeah, it's very windy today, isn't it? Don't get scared, it's only wind. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Okay. So, we're gonna be oh, taking a look into your eyes. I'm gonna use a bright light to check on it. I know the light is bothering you right now, but I need you to bear with this just for a little bit. Okay. Very good. Sweetheart, I need you to look straight forward to me. Just like that. I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but try not to blink. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there is some redness in there. Hmm. So you start feeling your eyes uh, bad only in the second period. Not in the morning when you woke up, or last night? No? Okay, so it's just recently. Okay. I know, I know, sweetie, I'm sorry, but we need to do this. Okay. While we do this, it's very important for you not to touch your face, especially your eyes, okay? If it feels itchy, let me know and I'm gonna put some drops so it feels better, okay? But while we're doing this, don't touch your face. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Yeah, now I can see why it feels that bad. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you with that. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to close your eyes and open them in one, two, three. Open them. Good. 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 Don't worry, I'm gonna do everything. Okay, I'm just checking that your eyes are reacting as they should be. That there is no problem in there with that. Okay. Okay, now sit straight. Very good, like that, looking straight forward. Focus your attention in my nose, right here, in your eyes in my nose. Try not to blink, okay? Looking straight to my nose. Good. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. Now I'm gonna let your eyes rest a little bit. Very good. Well, what you have is called pink eye, and it can be uh, appear when you are scratching your eyes and you have your hands dirty, or you have some germs or viral infection, and really nasty bugs that go into your eyes and make them feel bad. Okay, so your eyes are a little bit red, both eyes, and there is a little bit of swelling just a tiny bit, that is what is causing that itchiness sensation that you feel right now, okay? But before I can help you with that and give you treatment, I need to call your parents to ask for permission. Okay, so hang on a little bit longer while I do the call. Let me just pull the information of your parents and I'm gonna be calling. Oh, the school phone is out of line. I'm gonna be using my phone. Okay, just one second, sweetie. Okay, not far. Well, yeah, that way, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, everything's okay inside the school. There's no wind. Just a second, sweetie. Yes, hello. Yes, this is Nurse Joni from your son's school. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, everything's okay. Uh, yeah, there's just a little problem with your eyes. Yeah, I have examined your child's eye and they have um, pink eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's something that happened recently. Uh, they were saying that it was happening in the second period, so it's recently. And I'm calling you to ask for your permission to give them treatment so they feel better. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still not done with the examination, but yes, you will need to come with them for them. Mm, okay. So, you're like half an hour, four minutes away? Okay, no, that's okay. Yeah, we'll stay here in the nursery and I'm gonna help them. Okay. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. So you, you agree to the uh, treatment. Perfect. Thank you so much. We'll be waiting here for you. Okay. Okay. So they agree to your treatment. I'm gonna help you with that. And let me just update your information. Okay. First of all, we're gonna clean your eye area very thoroughly. Because when there is pink eye, there is an infection or a bacteria going on there. And we need to clean the whole area, okay? And actually, before that, I need to take a sample of the secretion of your eyes. The tears that are coming down. Okay. I'm using one of this. And... We're going to be sending this to the lab. Okay, looking up for me. Good. 
You are doing great. You are very brave. I know that it can be bothering, but you are doing great. Okay, one sample here. The other eye. Okay, the type of discharge is not the liquid in mm. Could be a bacteria. Okay. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm gonna do everything. Okay, don't get scared. I'm gonna take out a needle, but I'm not gonna poke you or anything. I'm just gonna take out some of this solution that is gonna help me clean all the area. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not gonna poke you. Don't worry. You're just gonna take some of this so we can clean your eyes. Good. This is the first solution that we're gonna use. Don't worry, I'm not gonna poke you. No needles are scary. But there's no needles involved. See? Gonna take it out. Okay, sweetheart. There is some cotton balls here. With this, I'm gonna soak them with the solution I just took. Like so. We're gonna let it set. This is why we're going to clean your eye directly, and now we're going to clean the outside area. It's going to feel a little bit cold, but it's necessary, okay? Okay, you can close your eyes, please. Good. First, we're going to take all these bacteria and dirt, sweat that is around your eyes in your eyebrows under your eyes nose too I know it's a little bit cold, I'm sorry <laughs> Good, good, good. You're doing great. You're being very brave. Good. Okay, another one. The cotton balls are almost soaked completely. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now I need you to close your eyes. Good. Gonna put this on top. You're gonna start feeling that it's really, really wet. Doing great. Doing great. Very good. Okay, perfect. Now keep your eyes closed, please. Keep them closed. Good. I'm gonna put another one in the other eye. Keep them close, just like that. Very good, keep them close. I'm gonna put a cover in your eyes. We need to seal them there so it absorbs all the bacteria that is around there. Keep them close, please. Ok, 
Okay, the color is clear, so you can still kind of see me here. I need you to keep them close for a little bit. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to be absorbed. All the little bad bacteria and germs around your eyes. Your crease. And under your eyes. I'm gonna leave it there for a couple of minutes, okay, sweetie? I'm gonna update your information in the computer, so that's what you're gonna hear. Your parents are coming very soon. They will be here by the end of the examination, so don't worry. You're gonna have two free days to recover at home. Mm-hmm, two full days. Isn't it great? Okay. How are your eyes feeling right now? If they start feeling itchy again, let me know immediately. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Almost done. Just a few seconds more. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna feel a little warm in your eye area. And feel a light. It's a warm light that you're gonna be feeling. It's gonna help the process be faster. Good, good. Now I'm gonna press your eyes a little bit. It shouldn't be uncomfortable, but if you feel a uh, pain or that is too much for you, for you, let me know. Okay, and I will stop. Good. You're doing great. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the cover. It's gonna look right again. Here we go. There we go. Hello. Very good. I'm gonna check your eyes again with the bright light. Okay. Okay, looking straight forward to me. Good. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Great reaction. We're gonna start by putting the first drops that is gonna help you with the easiness, okay? Um, let's see. What's this one? We're gonna need two drops on each eye. Okay. We're gonna start by applying these drops. I need you to look out for me. Okay. Gonna open your eyes with my hand, my fingers. Don't worry. Just a couple of drops. One, two. Good. Now blink. Softly. Softly. Good. Very good. We're gonna do the same with the other eye. Okay. Open it. One, two, very good. Now blink, softly, blink, blink, very good, good. Now keep your eyes closed for a little bit, okay?
You're gonna start feeling that you wanna cry, but without pain. It's normal, it's activating the lacrimal sap. So, you can take out all the bad bacteria there. Gonna wipe it off. So, good, okay, I'm going to use my needle again to, to draw some of the solution. I need to wipe clean the area again, oh, like so. Okay, so this time I'm going to use the needle, but I'm not going to poke you, don't worry. I'm just going to squirt some of the liquid into your eyes. You're going to have your eyes closed, okay? I'm going to put it in your eyelash area, okay? I'm not going to poke you, but please don't move, okay? Very good. Are you ready? Here we go. Good. Very good. You're really brave. We're gonna do the same with the other eye. Okay, here we go. Good. Good, good, good. Good. You did great. Raise the color. Right here. See, it didn't poke you. <laughs> Perfect. So we're gonna let that settle for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's caused by an infection. Oh, you got contagious by maybe touch some of of your classmate that also have it. So I'm gonna to uh, run to your uh, class, to check on your classmates too or maybe at home, we don't know, it takes uh, some time to incubate but don't worry about it, don't worry we're just here to take care of you and make you feel better okay, that is very important for you to wash your hands very very good if you're gonna be touching your face, especially your eyes if you're gonna be rubbing them or scratching if you feel like it's tickling you so it's very important to always have your hands clean especially if you're petting your uh, cat or your dog or any other pet that you have if you're giving them love touching them and don't touch your face okay wash your hands first especially if you're touching your eyes okay now let's check your eye reaction again Looking straight forward. Good. Okay. You see that the light is blinking and it's normal. Looking straight forward. Good. 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 Very good, that's a great reaction. Much better than the first one. Okay. Yeah, it will take around two days, so that's what the, we're sending you home. And since it's gonna be the weekend, you're gonna have a long, long weekend. <clears throat> okay, let's check the other drops that we're gonna be using on you. Okay. Good. Let me see how many drops you need for this. Okay, very good. This one take a little longer to be applied. We're gonna have to wait a couple of minutes until the drops that I added to dry it up and be absorbed in the area. Mm -hmm. While we wait, do you want some snack? I have some delicious candy for you here. We have these delicious cookies with chocolate. Very, very good. Tasty and really 
kind of cute. It has panda faces. And you can see here the faces that he has. Very, very delicious and cute. And I also have a cat. Mini candy bar. That you will maybe like. It's strawberry flavor. Very delicious. White chocolate. Or maybe you want some drop candies that are also very, very good. With delicious fruit juice. That it tastes really, really nice. Which one will you like? Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Right here for you. Take whatever you want. Let me sign first this. Your note, your teacher's note, before we go any further. Okay. Good. Let's see how those eyes are looking. Oh, my earrings. I like them. <laughs> cute little penguins. Isn't they cute? <laughs> okay. They look much better. Much, much better. Isn't it itchy anymore? Just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, don't worry. With the next set of drops, it's gonna feel much, much better. And the drops that I'm gonna give your parents for the day and tomorrow. It's going to completely clear everything in your eyes. Okay, we're almost there. Look, I have some toys for you if you want to play. I have some Pokemon from Detective Pikachu movie. Isn't it cute? And we have one of my favorites, Bulbasaur, right here. It's very, very cute. Look. Isn't it adorable? Yeah, my kid has this too. Very cute. I'm gonna leave it there. Right here if you wanna play with them while we wait. Okay. Yeah, we have to wait just a more, one more minute to start the second round. Good. Now, we're going to be cleaning your eyes again to start the second round. Okay, sweetie. Oh, it's going to feel a little bit cold. I'm sorry that it's necessary for this. And, oh my god, ball here. I need you to look up for me. Okay. Good. Just like that. Gonna be washing the whole eye area. Sometimes when you share toys with your friends and if you're touching your face, you're touching your eyes, you're scratching, it may cause the bacteria to go inside your eyes. Sometimes when you have the flu or you're having a cold, it can also add the bacteria and go to your eyes. So it's very important to always have your eyes your hands clean if you're touching the area, okay? Very good. Don't worry, I'm not gonna poke you. I'm gonna take the needle again.
we're gonna be putting this below your eye I need you to look out for me good good very good you did great okay now we're gonna do the same in the other eye here comes the drops good very good now close your eyes again close get them close good Gonna see a bright light with your eyes closed. This is the light that I'm shining through it. Don't worry. Now I'm gonna be massaging your eyes very, very softly and gently, like so. Let me know if it's too uncomfortable for you. I will stop. You're doing great. Very good. I'm gonna leave it there for a couple of minutes. And we're gonna add the final drops, okay? I am right here with you. Very good. Do you remember if you had a cold recently? Maybe you had the sniffles, cough, Sneezes. No? Okay. Very good. This one's cold. Do you remember if you had a fever? No? Yeah, I see here in your history that you haven't been absent from school, so there is no notes on being ailed. Very good. Uh, do you remember what were you doing this morning? Maybe you were playing with your pets or maybe you were playing with your toys or anything like that before coming to school? Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't worry, sweetie. Don't worry if you don't remember. We just need to put all the information in the computer for your medical history. So if you ever get sick again, we have the history of the things that you have done, okay? Very good. I'm going to take out the cover again. It's going to be bright again. Here we go. One, two... Three, hello. Okay. Let's check on it. Now looking straight forward to me. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good. Very good. Can I use the other color, looking straight forward. Good. Hmm. This one is not working. Let's see if I have another one here. Right here. There we go. Hmm. Okay, the redness is not that visible now and the swelling has come in down which is great very great now we are ready for the second round ok 
Okay, this has a red tint on it. Don't worry, it's gonna be not gonna color your eyes. Okay, you need to close your eyes really, really hard. Now open them. Good. Now, good. Good, 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 good. Doing great. Very good. Keep your eyes closed for a little bit. I know it has a funny aroma, isn't it? <laughs> good. Very good. And the final drops, I know I'm putting a lot of liquid in your eyes. I know, I know, sweetie. But this is the last one, okay? I promise. Now, looking up for me, like that. Gonna be opening your eye. One. Two. Good. The same with the other eye. Open it. One, two, good, very good, perfect. Let me just wipe out the excess and we're done. You can have your snack if you want now. You're going to be waiting for your parents while I update your medical history. Okay. You're here. Yeah, please come in. Please take a seat. Thank you. Sweetie, you can be like that. Okay. Just one moment. So, what we did with your child is put a run of treatment for the eyes. It has pink eye, which is very, very common. Don't worry. I'm gonna be needing them to stay at home for two days, so it's gonna be a long, long weekend. And I'm gonna give you these drops right here, okay? You're gonna apply two drops on each eye every, oh, let me see, every eight hours, okay? Day and night, it's very important. And very important also that clean hands, especially for this little one. They have clean hands, it's, it's going to be touching your face, especially the eyes, okay? Let me just give you a printout of the information I just gave you. And no, everything's fine. Uh, we're going to be checking the class to see if there is any other uh, kid with this problem. And because it's very contagious. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, your child caught you from another kid or in school and I mean in your house or any other place but it's very very contagious so we're gonna be checking the whole class hmm. okay uh, here we go okay this is your release note and you're gonna give this to uh, in the entrance so they know that it's gonna be taking two days off and it has all information that I just told you about the drops and two days rest, okay? Uh, it was feeling a little bit bad with the light, uh, bright lights, so take that into consideration. Not being outside in the sun too much or with um, a phone or tablet or anything like that for long periods in these two days. Okay, very good. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay, sweetie, so take care. Remember to clean your hands. Wash them very, very good. Okay? Let me just take this off. There we go. Oh, yeah. You can take all the snacks you want. Don't worry about it. If you want everything, take it everything. Okay, sweetie, so take care. And enjoy your, your two days at home. And rest. Okay? Very good. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bend your eyes slowly. 
we had a bit of a problem. What were you doing in the storm? Are you one of those storm chasers? Well, you got pretty bad. Yeah, some people find you in a ditch and brought you here with me. I'm Joni, I'm a nurse and well, right now I'm on a break because, because of the storm I was put here to help people. So, I'm here to help you. Your eyes got a little bit injured. There is no doctor in the house right now, so it's only us. You got a lot of debris and dust in your face and dust in your eyes. They are a little bit injured, but I'm gonna help you with that, okay? I don't have a lot of equipment here, so I'm gonna use what I have on hand. How does it feel when you blink? Okay, yeah, that's pretty common because of all the dust and the wind. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check your eyes first. Okay, look in front. They are definitely red. I don't see any damage on the optical nerve or your pupils, which is great. You weren't using glasses, right? Don't go changing the storms without glasses, protective glasses. Okay, first thing we need to clean those eyes. And we're gonna use a few drops of this solution to do that, to clean all the debris, all the dust that you eyes caught from the storm, okay? But first I need to clean the area because your face is really, really dirty. Yeah, I'm here for the storm. This town doesn't have a hospital, the nearest hospital, it's four minutes away, so I was stationed here. You have a lot of mud and dust in your face. We are gonna put you up and clean you up. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Oh, you were trying to get a picture of the eye. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people trying that, but it's the most dangerous place you could be during that kind of storm. Especially if you are not unequipped like you. You should be wearing goggles or something protective. Oh no, no, sweetie, I don't know what happened to your camera. You were just brought here. Maybe it flew away. Okay. Try to maintain your eyes like that. We're gonna start with the irrigation in a second. Okay. Start with this one first. Okay. Looking up. Good. We need to remove all the debris in your eyes. 
you're lucky that uh, you didn't have any major damage. I mean, a tiny little rock can completely damage your eye. You only have dust, which is great. in the area right now it's like nothing ever happened completely sunny crazy isn't it how the storm passed by so quickly okay now I'm gonna put your eyes like this Now this drop have a solution to prevent any infection. And also cleans the area. again looks much better but there's still some debris stuck in there It's a little bit weird, I'm sorry, but that's the only way to do it. Now I need to see if your eye got any microdermic damage from the dust. For that I'm gonna use a solution that will tint the eye and let me see if there is any scarring or any damage in the eye that I can check it with my light only and since we don't have any other equipment to take a pic this is the only thing that I have available at the moment okay okay we're gonna use this solution in our drops of distilled water this is gonna tint your eyes and you're gonna start looking everything out as jello but it won't last for too long Put it here. Just a few drops. It won't hurt. Don't worry about that. No pain whatsoever. It just feels weird with the color that you will start seeing, but that is normal. Let me just mix it up. be really well mixed up so it works okay don't worry about the colors that you're gonna see okay it's completely normal here we go Close your eyes. Go 
good. Okay. Now the tent will start going to all of your eyes. Good. Very good. Okay. How does it feel? Do you feel any pain? Discomfort? No? Very good. Okay. Now we are going to take a peek inside your eyes. See if the tin caught any damage on the optical nerve. Okay. I'm going to dim the lights a little bit. There we go. We're looking for straight forward. Very good. Nothing in this eye. Very good. No, okay, looking straight forward to me. be a little bit more close to you. I'm gonna check those eyes. Okay. I see a scar. A tiny little bit there, but it looks old. You had an accident before this one? Mm, okay. Nothing fresh, nothing new. But I will suggest for you, when you are in town or in the city, to take a, a deep look into this, okay? We're an optometrist. On the long run can affect your eye vision. Okay. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna use another eye drops to clear up the jello solution. your eyes and in a second you will start looking everything like normal I'm back to normal we need to clean the area inside here and I'm gonna use this clothes that will clean the area and suit it Are you ready? For this, I need you to close your eyes. Not too tight. Like that is okay. Okay. 
Okay. Very good. I know it feels fresh and kind of cold. That is from the cleaning solution that this gloves had. Okay, okay. Now we're going to make a little exam. Since you have a bit of debris right inside your cornea, you need to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. I guess a little bit of this. You're gonna open your eyes like that. Since I don't have the equipment, we're gonna have to do it this way. Open your eyes a little bit wide. I know it feels weird. I'm sorry. So sorry, but it's necessary for this. Okay. Looking straight forward again. Good. I'm going to do a gentle eye massage. This solution has a medication to prevent any inflammation as long as it's done properly. Okay, that feels weird. I'm sorry. To be like that, don't close your eyes, don't close them just for a tiny bit of time. Almost there, I know it stinks a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna tell you when to close your eyes and leave them closed. Okay, good. Open them again. I'm gonna put this little protective mesh around your head so I can do the Massaging your eye gloves. Okay. Okay, let's go. This massage allows the drops that I just put in your eyes to go all the way in the back of your optical nerve. And your eye globe so you can reach the muscle. Sometimes when we are on these high winds, we start moving our eyes really really fast. Totally involuntary, but this can damage the optical nerve. I 
find the muscle in the back of our eye globe and this solution will help soothe that area Good, you did really good. Hello. Okay. Okay, let's take a peek. There, I need you to look all the way that way without moving your head or neck. Okay, good. Nice, now the other way. Very good, thank you. Okay, so I think I help you with the most drastic of the damage in your eye, which was the little tear up and the muscle in the back of your eye globe. But you should be take a peek at that with a specialist, okay? Right now it's like the first aid of eye nerve problems, so you should take a look into that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you, I'm not gonna prescribe you anything, this is just for the pain that you may feel. A couple of pills, just regular ibuprofen. There you go, you can take them. And you should go to a hospital now. The ambulance is coming, but as you know, we are really far from town, so it takes a while. Any questions? No, just try not to go into these dangerous things without the proper equipment. Okay? Now it was my pleasure. Now let's wait for the ambulance, and I know it will be here soon. <laughs>